sports and politics do not mix. Let me repeat that. Sports and politics do not mix. Most of the time they don't. Now the reason I'm saying this is because the National Football League decided to postpone the Philadelphia Eagles home game against the Minnesota Vikings from Sunday night and move it to Tuesday night. Now being that Philadelphia is a hardcore sports town, they did not take it very well. They did not take they did not take well the fact that the league has basically decided to bubble wrap its billion dollar investment instead of giving the fans what they want. So and amongst among the critics of the league just happened to be the most powerful man in all of Pennsylvania. And that man himself is of course Democratic Governor Ed Rendell. Now uh, Rendell a huge sports fan and a huge Eagles fan in particular who does post game commentaries after Eagles games uh, so obviously he is a huge Eagles fan he uh, of course did not take the, the league's decision very well he even went as far as to suggest that public safety should not matter in whether or not the fans want to go to the game. If the let the fan let the fans decide what is in their best interest. So and he even went as far as to suggest that Vince Lombardi, the Green Bay Packers legendary legendary head coach, would be rolling in his grave right now. He would he would be appalled at what the league has done. He would call us a bunch of wussies. And he might be right about that. And now, if uh, he had left it at that, that would have been okay. But uh, there were two, two, uh, two specific quotes from his uh, critique that uh, really uh, bothered me. And uh, the first of the first of uh, these quotes from this article I am reading I am reading on ESPN uh, quote my biggest beef is that this is part of what has happened in this country I think we've become wussies now exactly how in the hell does a decision about a football game reflect badly on America? as a nation. Uh, yes, football is America's sport. It, it is, for all intents and purposes, purposes, our pastime. Roger Goodell, the commissioner, he is the man in charge and he is the one that made the decision. Uh, he is the one that basically was out and caught off the game until Tuesday. So. Now, he's the one that deserves to be called out for making a corporate-based decision. But to suggest that what this man has done some, somehow make, makes us soft, you know, that is totally laughable. I mean, there are more important things to America than just football. Namely, our economy, for one, our national defense, uh, education, human rights, civil rights, the environment, you know, you can name, you can name a hundred different things that are more important to us than just football. You know, and me being from California where our state is totally screwed up, you know, I am amazed personally at how Phil, Phil, Pennsylvania can sleep well at night knowing that their governor is, uh, his life perspective is as screwed up as it is. And the second thing, the second uh, specific quote from the, ES the ESPN article, uh, quote, The Chinese are kicking our butts in everything. If this was in China, do you think the Chinese would have called off the game? People would have been marching down to the stadium. They would walk 
they would have walked and they would have been doing calculus on the way down. So yeah, nice of him to throw the Asian stereotype there that uh, Asians are, all Asians are good at math. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably, and there would pro probably be tanks in Tiananmen Square ready to run anybody over who would be, who would, uh, who would not, who is not going to fall in line with what the government tells them to do. Yeah, uh, yes, of course, yeah, the Chinese are better at everything, and by that, you mean, if you mean better at, uh, corporate exploitation, uh, child labor, censorship, human rights violations, sweatshops, you name it, the, the Chinese are better at it. It's a very perfect, very perfect comparison, comparing a democratic country to a communist country. And there's nothing wrong with that comparison, obviously. No. So, yep, and this, all this is coming from a democratic governor of all people. A very, very, very insightful. No, not, not at all out of, out of line. I, I would definitely not out of line. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure it is. But, yep. Yeah. You know, basically, basically, what he had, what what this comes down to is, this is a guy who has spent 30 years in public office, including two terms as mayor of Philadelphia, and two terms, is current currently set, serving his second term as governor of his state, and you know, in my opinion, he knows exact I, he knows exactly what is what he is doing. He is basically exploiting Philadelphia's love of sports with his, combining it with his uh, political know-how and he is wrapping himself around the American flag and turning turning uh, this simple problem into something that it really is not okay it's just basically a cheap publicity stunt to so he can get more publicity and gain some uh, positive PR with his people, and that is as about as a uh, low life, uh, low brow weasel a move as you can possibly get from an elected official. It, it's it's it, it is as pathetic as it gets. So, you know, so you know. If if I were if, if I was able to speak to Governor Rendell, I I would say this: Look, you are not Jackie Robinson trying to break down the color barrier. You are not Jesse Owens trying to stick it in the face of uh, Hitler, and you are not a U.S. Olympian trying to fight off the Russians in the Cold War. Uh, you are you are a guy who is basically whining about the fact that you cannot watch your hometown Eagles play on Sunday night. You're forced to watch it on a Tuesday night. You know, it, it, it's, you know, it, it, it is, it, what you're doing isn't making you any more American than anyone else. What it is, what, it, what you are doing is you are basically making yourself more of an attention whore than anyone else. You, someone who is who is shamelessly willing to do and say anything to gain cheap attention, cheap publicity, and will do anything to get support from his peers. So, get over yourself, seriously. But that is all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching. Take care and good night.